If you are looking for something fun to do today, consider heading up to Boulder. Danny had the chance to find out what's going on for the last day of the Boulder Creek Festival. Check it out. All right, Ryan, it's so great to see you. So great to have you here. I want to jump right in. What's going on for the final day of the festival? Yeah, we've been here for two days now. This is the last day of the event, so last chance to come check out all the vendors and music and all the fun uh, before we wrap out and get out of here. So uh, lots of music, lots of fun games and activities for everybody. So come on down and enjoy it while you can. That is so great. So do you need tickets to any of these festivities or can you just attend? You can come on down. Everything's free to the public. We more, uh, more the merrier and uh, open for everybody and anybody. It's a free event for everybody. That is wonderful. Well, earlier in the weekend, a lot of folks ran the Boulder Boulder, which is, of course, an iconic race for uh, those of us here in Colorado. What will their bib get them today at the festival? Yeah, so we have bars throughout the festivities for those that are interested. And if you show your bib, we get a dollar off uh, any of the beverages we sell as a thank you and congrats on uh, you earned it. Way to run. Yeah, that's definitely a, a huge congrats because running that Boulder Boulder is no joke for sure. You also have a pretty cool contest going on. Can you tell us about that, Ryan? Yeah, we partner with uh, Streetwise Arts, which is a Boulder based um, art community. And we are doing a Streetwise Art Battle where we have 10 local artists who have painted Adirondack chairs. And you can come down and vote for your favorite. And the winning artist gets a cash prize. You can also bid on one of the chairs to take home, and all the proceeds go back to Streetwise Arts. So excited to have them here again. That is so exciting. You know, I think a lot of people think festivals and stuff like this, and you know, a, a lot of people are used to maybe going to these in Denver or other places. What makes this particular one in Boulder so unique and so different for you? Yeah, I mean, the tradition's been going on. This next year will be our 35th year of the festival. So it's kind of a staple here in Boulder. And we keep challenging ourselves to add new and fun things to the event. So not only do you have stages and our vendors and foods, but the streetwise art battles going on. Um, we had a skateboard contest yesterday happening. So we try and keep it fresh, exciting, um, and, and really showcase the community here in Boulder through all different avenues, whether it's the small businesses, the food vendors, um, or some of the great artists and musicians that we have playing on our three different stages happening all throughout the weekend. Wow, oh my gosh, three different stages. That's so cool. And are all of these events family friendly too? They are. We try and cater to all ages, uh, young and old. So there's something kind of for everybody here from face painters and children's performers to uh, high end vendors and art vendors that you can do. So bring the family, bring the kids. It's a fun time for everybody. Yeah. Well, Ryan, I have to say I'm a little bit biased. I was in Boulder for four years for school. Go Buffs. Um, but I have to say, you know, we've had so many people moving to Colorado that maybe haven't experienced Boulder yet. Why would you say Boulder is, I mean, I know why I think so, but why would you say Boulder is just such an incredible city to come down and check out? Yeah, I mean, there's just so much stuff to do and see for everybody here. It's also a beautiful location here in the park. Uh, the creek's flowing, people are having fun. So not only for outdoor enthusiasts, but, um, you know, Pearl Street and everything going on here in Boulder. And we try and reflect that at our festival of kind of a taste of what you can find in this great town um, year round, not just with us at the festival. Yeah, and Ryan, that's rain or shine. As we can clearly see, you're out there in the rain and it's still so beautiful. Well, we're gonna let you we're get here. inside. Yeah, you have no shame. You're like, I'm out of here, we're doing it. <laughs> that's right. Thank you so, so much again for joining us and we're so excited to come out and check out the fest. We appreciate you guys. Come on down, it'll be fun for everybody. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, guys. Okay, you still have time to head out to the final days of the Boulder Creek Festival. It's happening along the Boulder Creek on 9th Street to 14th Street between Canyon Boulevard and Arapaho Avenue. For more info, head to bouldercreekfest.com. We'll be right back.